I'm Steve Harms. I'm one of the radiologists here at the Breast Center in Northwest Arkansas. Breast MRI is one of the methods we use for uh, breast imaging here at the Breast Center in Northwest Arkansas. It uses magnetic fields and radio waves to make an image, which is totally different from all the other imaging methods we use. The significance of it is that it gives us information on, on the specific biochemistry of the tissue itself. And so what MRI does is it looks at the character of the tissue in terms of how it interacts with the rest of the body and its physiology. And that tells us a story that's much more predictive than using simply appearance. Now breast MRI uses magnetic fields and radio waves. So it doesn't use ionizing radiation, the radiation that is harmful to the body. Now, if we were to look at screening populations and examine a thousand people with mammography, we'd find about four cancers out of those thousand people. If we had 3D or tomography to it, we would add another cancer, five per thousand. If we do a screening ultrasound on those thousand people, we'd get another four cancers. But if we did an MRI on those thousand people, we'd get 45 cancers. So it's about 10 times more capable of detecting cancer than our other imaging methods. So why doesn't everybody get an MRI? Well, because MRI is the most expensive technology we have. So we have to use it judiciously in people that really need it. So we have guidelines, national guidelines, to decide who is best suited for getting additional screening with MRI. Because MRI adds expense, but it also uh, is very cost effective if we're looking at high risk populations because those are people that are likely to get a cancer. So the main thing we look for is genetic information. If you have relatives that have um, uh, breast cancer or ovarian cancer in your family, and we can actually do a risk assessment and determine what your actual risk is. Another a risk that you could have would be if you've had a biopsy and had abnormal cells, but they were not malignant, but that were uh, predisposed to developing a malignancy. And uh, those people, are, I need additional screening as well. Then there's another group of people, the people who've had a prior breast cancer. Uh, they're um, twice as likely to develop a new cancer. And so many times doing a breast MRI will allow us to pick up that cancer earlier than it would when we would with, with mammography or ultrasound. The breast MRI at the Breast Center is a dedicated breast MRI. It's designed specifically for breast imaging. It is the only MRI in a breast center in the state of Arkansas, and one of the few in the nation. What that means is that when we read an MRI, we're evaluating all the other imaging methods and coordinating everything. It's a big factor. So the big reasons uh, for getting an MRI at the breast center is we've got better quality with a dedicated machine designed specifically for the breast, and it's done in the breast center and coordinated with all other breast imaging methods so that we make sure we get the answers that we're looking for.